it's Janelle here, also known as Chow Chow 808. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys had a great start to the week. And if not, don't worry, you still have a couple more days to make it a great week. Now for today's video, I kind of wanted to start off a new series on here where I review some of the products that I've been loving during summer. And I know I filmed a summer must-haves video. And trust me, I've used those things that I featured in that video. But I just wanted to give the reviews of products that I've just been using consistently throughout summer. And when I'm talking about summer, I'm talking about from May up until now. So um, for today's video, if you can tell by the title, it's about the foundations. And I'm going to give many reviews on all of these foundations that I'm talking about. But if you want a more in-depth review, just go to our website and you can just click on the pictures and the, you'll find um, the in-depth review that I did for each of these foundations. Now, just to let you guys know, I do use a stamp sponge wedge applicator. That's a mouthful. <laughs> but basically, I just use a stamp sponge to apply all of my foundations. I feel like it just gives me an even coverage and I can just, I have more control of the amount of products that I'm using and I feel like I'm not wasting as much as I used to with a brush. So with that being said, I use the sponge or sponge applicator for all of these things and I also set them with the same powder. This is Elf's Press Powder in Light Beige. I use this thing all the time to set it. It's my holy grail product. You can find um, Elf at Target or you can order it online. Online, I believe these retail for a dollar and then in Target they're like a dollar and two cents or a dollar and four cents. I don't know why they up the prices on us. but. You know what it's okay I'm okay with paying an extra two or four cents for that because it's um in my opinion it's really comparable to my Maybelline dream matte that I used to have so I've been I always use that to set my foundations so the way I'm gonna talk about all of these foundations is I'm gonna start with the one that gives me the lightest coverage first and then we're gonna go up, move up to the one that gives me the most coverage and gives me buildable coverage so the first one that I want to talk about is actually a tinted moisturizer it's not really a foundation and it's the elf tinted moisturizer and I use beige now this one was a great product for me it was an oopsie daisy product I originally bought it for my sister to use but she's a couple of shades darker than me and unfortunately it definitely did not match her so I tried it out and it ended up matching my skin tone a lot better I need to warn you though the the box that it comes in that color on the box does not match the color that is in the tube I would say um, even in the tube it looks a little bit darker so you just might want to be wary about that but other than that you know it's a great everyday type of face product and it's a no-brainer for me when I'm in a rush I can just quickly slather it on I don't really have to worry about blending it out because it blends in great it blends in quick which I really like and it doesn't leave me feeling too greasy by the end of the day even after four or five hours of wear I do notice that I get a little greasy but it's not um, it's not so much where I just feel like a big old grease ball and I need blotting paper sat you know I can kind of blot it off with some napkins or towels and I'm fine I'm good to go so this is this has been definitely this has been one of the most used products um, out of the four that I'm showing you here so this is definitely on my top list the second thing that I've been using a lot is actually a BB cream and it's by Physicians Formula and that's it's called a Super BB Cream and I use it in light medium and so now the thing with these two is that they both come with similar applicators where it's just a squeeze tube so basically you open it up and you just squeeze the product out I don't mind that because I like to be able to put it on the back of my hand and dab it on my face again that's how I make sure that I'm not using too much product on my face but the brushes I, <laughs> I had a hard time where I would just overdo it on my face like I would just squeeze out the product and I would dab my brush in but yet that brush on the first initial dab it would pick up so much product that half of it was already gone and I didn't have enough for the other side of my face so using the sponge it helps it helps me make it helps me to distribute the product a lot more evenly but with this one I really like the fact that again it's really easy to just put on it's a no-brainer for me I don't have to worry about any re really weird oxidization like I do with some other BB creams that I've tried but it gives me a little bit more coverage than the tinted moisturizer but yet at the same time I do feel I can feel greasy by five four to five hours and again but it's nothing that I can't stand if you really if you're oily and you really hate that feeling of being oily and the 
oil just seeping all over your face. You're not going to like this. Um, it has a high concentrated SPF. It's SPF 30 and that's going to kind of help with, that's going to um, bring out some of the oils in your face because of the high SPF. So you may want to be wary about that, but I've been loving this because it's, again, it's a no-brainer for me. It gives me more coverage than the tinted moisturizer. Oh, the next foundation is one that I just recently reviewed and it's the L'Oreal True Match and I use this in W4 Natural Beige. Now, this thing you're going to want to be very careful with if you have oily skin. Um, I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up, but there is slight, right there, you see it? There's slight gold shimmers in this foundation, and I didn't notice that when I was purchasing that, purchasing it at Target. Whoa, <laughs> I can't talk. But, um, I know, even with the slight shimmers, I do notice it giving off some, a kind of a dewy complexion. I'm wearing it today, but I set it with that, my matte powder, so it's not as dewy as it is when I first apply it without any powder. But the thing is, is that after about three to four hours of wearing it, my oil is just coming through like nobody's business. I feel so, sometimes it gets to the point where I'm just like going around like this with my face and I'm just dabbing off the excess oil on my hand because I just can't stand it and I, I'm not gonna go to a bathroom just to dab off my oil but you know I like the coverage that it gives me it gives me more a lot more than the BB cream does but at the same time it's buildable and I can still my skin underneath my um, the foundation can still breathe and that's what I really enjoy about this the only downfall again is the fact that I am an oily person and I feel like this wasn't made for oily people but um the applicator for this it's you squeeze off the top and you have that so um, in my post in my review I said there's like kind of like three ways that you can apply this product you can put it on the back of your hand and you can just dab it and then place it all over your face or you can put it on the back of your hand get your sponge or your brush or whatever you're using take that and then brush it all over your face or you can do what I do, which I think makes the product work a lot better, which is just cover it with your ring finger, shake it a couple of times, and then just dab it around your face. It distributes the product a lot more evenly, and then you can concentrate um, the initial dabbing where you really need coverage. So for me, I dab it on my cheekbones, and then I start bringing it back down to my neck area. So that's that. I don't mind having that. And this on um, like for one layer I get about a medium coverage um, depending on really how heavy I decide to go with my shake is that weird like it depends but I can get a medium coverage with this and then um, with two layers I can get a pretty good almost full coverage um, from that and then the last one is another L'Oreal and this is the true match Lumi now you're gonna probably think why in the world do you like the True Match Lumi if it's supposed to be dewy and luminescent and you're oily and you can't stand that True Match? Well, trust me, there's like a big difference. With this one, my oil can be held back for about five to six hours. Around the five hour mark, okay, yeah, I'm starting to feel the grease coming through. But this one, it comes by so much quicker and I don't have as much, I feel like I don't have as much wear time with like the natural finish as I do with this one. Is, does that make sense? Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. Um, so with this one, it's great because you can do one layer and you're going to get a really nice coverage all over your face, but by two layers, two to three layers, you're going to have a full coverage. And you know, the thing is that, I, the thing that I like about both of these foundations is that no matter how many layers I put on, I still feel like my face can breathe underneath, the skin can breathe, and that's really important to me. I hate foundations. I've tried foundations where I just basically put on my face and I feel like I'm suffocating, like <laughs> my skin can't breathe. I feel like I painted paint on my face and I just want to go ahead and wipe it off and be free and I feel like, you know, if I cry or God forbid I spill anything on my near my face or I need to wipe my mouth, you know, I feel like I'm going to like move a big chunk of the makeup away and it's just going to be a catastrophe. But with these products, you know, I really like how it blends into my face a lot or blends into my skin and I it feels like my skin. That's all it feels like. It feels like my skin, which I really appreciate. 
So with the True Match Lumi, you, you do get that luminescence to it, but it's not as intense as the um, L'Oreal True Color. In this one, you don't have that shimmer to it. So as you can see, you don't have that shimmer to it like you do with the True Color. Or what is it called? True Match. So that's the one thing that kind of, um, I guess you could, what is that word called? that left me flabbergasted. I think that's the word I'm looking for. It kind of left me that way because this isn't supposed to be a luminescent product in my opinion. It's supposed to be your regular standard foundation. But with this one, it's supposed to be a luminescent type of a foundation and it has no shimmer in it. So I feel like the two formulas kind of got mixed up. I mean, if they could switch bottles, that'd be great. Um, if, and if you didn't notice, I use the same color in both. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get away with using the same color. I was really hesitant to, but they're pretty darn similar. But I mean, look at that gold. I don't know if you can see. I, I mean, I, it just surprises me how much gold shimmer there is in this thing because I did not see that when I was looking at it at Target. So yeah, but anyhow, I love this thing. I went through a whole month of just using this by itself and I loved it. I absolutely loved having it on my face. Yes, it gave me that dewy look, but it never really overdid it until that fifth or sixth hour where I really needed to blot my face. You know, during summertime, you would think an oily person would want to have just regular powder on their face with concealer, but I... I'm kind of that person that likes to have some type of foundation on my face. Don't get me wrong, I really like having concealers too, and I can get away with that sometimes, but I just like having that feeling of foundation. It kind of, the foundation basically is my foundation for my entire looks all the time. And so when I feel like each look has its own specific foundation look. So when I'm going for that no makeup makeup look, I'm definitely going to reach for this one. When I'm going for the really easy everyday type of look where I do have lid colors and I'm done doing eyeshadow stuff, I'll go with this one. And then when I'm working with actual palettes with colors and stuff, I'm going to go with these two. You know, it's great to have a wide variety of foundations during summer because you never know what you're going to do. And um, on my California trip, I ended up bringing my True Match Lumi with me and my BB cream. These two were the things that I brought with me for that trip. I ended up using this one a lot more than um, this one. I've just brought this one just in case I needed that extra coverage, um, but that was before I bought this one. So anyhow, if you want individual reviews, again, you can go check out the website. It's all going to be posted there. You can check that, check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think next video on Thursday, I will do maybe lips, um, lip products that I've been using a lot during the summer. And let me tell you, they involve a lot of stains. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know down below in the comments what you've been using on your face during summer. And also let me know um, what types of videos you'd like to see. I'm definitely open for more advice video or like more videos, a wide range of videos. Um, I also wanted to start making videos that supplemented a lot of the blog posts and reviews that I have posted on my on the website. So definitely go check all of those out. All the links and everything will be listed down below. Um, hopefully I'll have some footage from Cece and her trip to Shanghai, which is really cool. Cool. and that will be uploaded whenever I get the, um, the, the, or the footage to edit so if you want to see that make sure you follow us on Twitter because you'll be up to date with everything that's happening with our YouTube page our website and our individual vlogs that's a lot <laughs> you're packing we're jam packing four people into like one channel one everything it's a lot I hope you guys enjoy this video and until our next video bye